you guys have been giving us, uh, I had a comment on one of my, uh, texture pack videos, this Fax Pure BD Craft HD texture pack for 1.8.1. It is my most viewed, uh, like, video on my channel, with, like, 2,000 views, 200, 2,200 and something, uh, as of this video, but, uh, there was a comment, and this uh, guy was having a problem, guy or girl, I'm pretty sure it's a guy, though, uh, but uh, he was having, he or she was having a problem where all of her, his or her stone blocks were looking like this. All, like, with another portal and fire in it. And uh, this is the problem that happens if you don't install the, uh, uh, what is it, um, like see, all it does it happens if you don't install the uh, MC patcher for 1.8, because if uh, it happens to all only stone blocks for some reason, it's really weird. But uh, yeah, so I will come out of this Minecraft and I will show you how it's actually supposed to be. How you're so well, how you install MC patcher and stuff. So one minute. Okay, guys. So what you're gonna want to do first is uh, click in the links in the description. They'll be all in the description. And you're going to want to uh, go to the MC Patcher one first. Depends. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and you're going to want to go to the scroll to the, maybe the bottom of the original thread before the comments. And you're going to want to click either on... This is for Windows only. But for Mac and Linux, you're going to want to click on the other platforms. But uh, for Windows only, you're going to either want to click on Dropbox or the AdFly. Dropbox is direct. AdFly will make, get the guys a little bit of money. Uh, and then after it downloads, uh, if you don't already have the texture pack, there will be a link to the Dropbox, a direct download, because after you click this, it does a huge bunch, a whole bunch of other pages that just just a mess. So I'll have a Dropbox for my own, for you guys just do a direct download for the thing for 1.8.1. Uh, so after that, you're gonna want to put the texture back to your desktop if it's this, if it's the easiest for you guys. And you're gonna want to. I gotta go to my do, uh, my downloads, and you're gonna want to open up your MC Patcher. I'm not sure why I didn't already have it up, but it's gonna analyze your uh, your bin. It's gonna auto automatically uh, select it to where it is, unless you've moved your Minecraft folder, which I don't think you should have, because if you did, it, your Minecraft shouldn't be working. I don't think, but uh, if it is. Uh, I don't know why. Select just select where you put it and stuff, but it'll automatically be selected if you haven't touched anything with your Minecraft jar or moved it. And uh, random mobs is uh, a thing. I wasn't sure what it was, and then I figured it out. But uh, if a texture pack has more than one type of mob texture pack, so for example, if they had like one of a zombie without a head, and then one with a zombie with a head, uh, they would spawn. Some would spawn with a head, and some would spawn without a head. Uh, it's just it randomizes uh, the texture pack for the mobs so you can have it selected but uh, the main ones that you want to have selected are HD textures and HD font you gotta have these selected for the Sfax Pure BD Craft uh, texture pack to work or any other texture pack higher than 32 by 32 so you're gonna want to click patch when you've got this, the ones you selected and oh yeah and better craft is uh, uh, it's kind of when grass grows over the sides a lot more. It covers one side of the entire block, so I just have it select because unselect because I don't really like it. You just want to hit patch. It doesn't matter if, how many times you hit; it's the same thing. And then you can close out of that. Then you want to go to your Minecraft folder. Um, if I just made a shortcut to get to it really quickly on my desktop. But how you can do it is you can hold the Windows key and R at the same time, and Run will pop up at the bottom corner here. And you're gonna want to type in percentage app data percentage. It's all together. And you're gonna either click OK or hit Enter. And you're gonna go to here. You want to click on your dump Minecraft folder and texture packs. Then what you're gonna want to do is uh, put wherever you put your uh, SFAX pure BD wherever you put your high uh, higher quality than 32 by 32 texture pack. You're gonna want to click and drag it into the texture pack folder. I've already got it there, so I don't need to. But, uh, and then you're pretty much done. And then what you're going to want to do is go into your Minecraft, and I'll just be there in one second. I've got to quickly show you guys. Okay, guys, so now that I'm in my, uh, texture pack, uh, see how it's, like, a, a lot of high quality, high quality in the, in the, 
uh, what is it, all the text here, that's the high quality text. If it's not already selected to the texture pack, just go to your texture packs and select on the specs, uh, pure DVD, pure BD or something. Uh, you can also, if you, uh, if for some reason a key, key isn't working on your thing or anything, you can open up your Minecraft and just click open texture pack folder and it will open the folder for you. But uh, you just select the texture pack and you're pretty much done. Uh, it should be all working perfectly. Uh, as you can see, all the it's all fixed. No nether portal, no uh, no nether portal, no whatever. It was uh, the fire symbol, uh, and I can show you that it wasn't uh, the original. F oh, I already got a bucket of lava. Just wait for it to catch on fire. Oh shoot, that's not gonna work. We'll leave that there, and that can catch on fire. And there, see? As you can see, that wasn't, that's not the, that, this is the Sfax PRD BD thing, but uh, the other one wasn't. I'm just going to fix this lava problem, because this is my single player creative uh, one, and I don't want it to be f screwed up. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, if this r helped you guys, uh, please comment. Uh, if it worked, uh, if there's any problems, comment and I will respond and I will help you with that. Um, also, uh, please like this uh, video and subscribe if you uh, like my videos, my types of videos. Uh, that would be really great. It really helps me out because uh, I might be trying for a partnership once I hit about 450 subscribers. And I have to have at least 10,000 channel views because I've already made that objective for myself. But uh, yeah, guys, so just subscribe, like, comment, favorite. Uh, you don't have to favorite, it doesn't matter. But uh, liking and subscribing would be great if this really helped you guys. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys all later. Bye.